My name is Big Eagle Gaming, and today we're playing Minecraft, the single-player Let's Play world, and we are sponsored by Rogue Energy and Restream. Use uh, for Rogue Energy, use Big Eagle Ten, and for Restream, use Big Eagles with an S at the end. Ten, all capitals. Links down below. Codes are down below in the description below. Also, go set, uh, go support my Patreon, which is also down below. It says donate to me. And yeah. So today we're oh, put up the game. Today we are playing. Uh, we're, today we are making a tree farm. Now, what my design here is, and it's night time I know, and I should turn up the game for brightness. Okay, my plan for this is basically because our, our town is mostly out of wood. I have to build a tree farm. Now, I hate like when the trees get like that, basically. Well, that's a bad example. I mean, basically, we're like that one over there. Uh, sleep first and I'll show it what I mean. Or any of those trees over there. Basically, where did I? Okay. Where the the in the in the mod is the mod if there was mods would be called two tall tree. Is it, where they like, spreads branches with it instead of just stick branches. Where if you break the leaves of any tree, they'll turn into sticks. But and we just ran out of our tools. So what little iron I have. And what little wood I have. Uh, ho 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 wood. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make me some. Uh, uh, some regular t iron tools um, <coughs> oh shoot have that have that oh it's a pick I need okay. Oops, this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here. Yay, upgrade, okay. Ah, uh, that's the key is still a thing in this one. So let's go back to our little tunnel here. So the trick is to make this tall enough so that I don't get that annoyance of climbing all the way up by nerd pulling um, all the way up to the top of the trees uh, in order to uh, to harvest them um, because there's, n we found a way. Me and me and Austin in an, in our our redstone building series, or what is called redstone building, but it's really we're build. It's just a building series in survival, like to make life easier, kind of like uh, what Ethel does, or in his series, or whatever. 
So we found a way to make auto smelting a thing. But w I don't think there will be ever a way to make auto harvesting trees or plants a thing. At least right now. I mean, eventually what it looks like is they're going to get to that. But that's going to be probably in when it turns into 2.1. Um, which they are getting close to to, to doing it looks like because they're gonna run out numbers to do in in the one category so we also have to make this big enough and tall enough or else they won't grow because they are trees are bitchy that way um, so basically my idea here is is I can come down here harvest a bunch of trees for our m numerous projects that we do um, be and because our spawn village is mostly out of oak wood it's going to be an oak wood farm but that means I have to uh, I have to m change all most of this out to dirt and on the floor and um I I have to make sure that it has enough room above here to and I'm almost on my pick again. Yes, it is on on uh, sur well, it's on survival, but it's on um, peaceful. So I don't have to worry about any uh, creatures right this very second, but I'm gonna need them fairly soon. So we can get this going here. We also gonna need coal for torches down here. Something I should do off camera is check if there's any uh, caves underneath us here. Or I can do it now so you guys can see. Um, and I can maybe get, get into uh, so that it's all just right here. Oops. Oh. I should probably not have wasted my iron pick. Um, okay.
Okay, what about right here? It's fairly close. Um, oh, it just literally leads right through the mountain. Okay, um... Um... Okay, what about this over here? That doesn't go anywhere. So it's just legit this one. And, uh, Right under here is a ravine. Okay, so right here is going to be our mine. These two holes here. Um... The only way to mark them is actually using Forgot I could just hold. And then there's, so there's our base in relative from this area. So ravine is probably like and down there somewhere where the crosshair is oh crap oh thank goodness I made it into the water okay and we need some of these at base yeah. I mean this is pretty much base but I mean like so that's great okay so it is relatively close. I mean, it w it's not as close as I would have liked it, and I have to be able to build like uh, probably a drawbridge over to there from here. 
from probably over here somewhere. I feel like one of the seven doors. Except for Grumpy. Grumpy didn't actually get to go to the mines. You have to stay at home and pretty much die. So, okay. Um. So maybe I shouldn't be making iron tools just yet. If it, that's all I'm doing is mining. In fact, I shouldn't have even. Uh, or if I'm mining stone, I shouldn't have even like. Technically, have. <coughs> started the episode I wasn't thinking how many blocks high are trees is my next question I have like just a normal size tree like did you get like five pieces of wood out of is it like six blocks high or do you have to have a block uh, above it I've been trying this out in me, me and some people are playing off camera and uh, I've been trying to figure out a way to make the, it so that the trees don't grow too high <coughs> but uh, I can't figure it out because they just wrap around the block that I I, I place it out uh, uh, so if I can make it so that it's a solid like uh, awning like thing where Basically, it's like this. Because basically, and I've had this, uh, uh, like, argument with, like, well, not with people. I've had this argument or this opinion for a while now. Yes, it's good to get some variety of trees. Like like big ones, tall ones, but that's stupidly that 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 will never probably get mined this this whole series. In fact this is a never ending series. So ne this tree might not over here never get mined. Just because it's so stupidly stupid to mine them. Because literally all I want to do is go up to a tree. I mean this one's kind of bad too because it's higher than you can actually do. But I just want to go like this. And then mine straight up. There. That was, a, that was an okay tree. I just want to be able to do that. And not at worry unless you guys put in a way to like if you chop the bottom or chop any piece of wood like if you had vein miner or or excavator now it's called for the newer generation just just to hold that key down and it or tree capitator for the old is the other old one that that I used to play with or see other people play with where it just takes down the whole tree in, at the same time. Now ore excavator can do the uh, everything. So if you can make s if you can put something in like ore excavator and go back and have the same thing as in 1.12, where you can actually choose how many ores spawn, where they spawn, and and all that. Um, I know like it it can get pretty stupid like I had I did a couple videos on like and I 
I was going to start a second series and I'm like, no, this seems a little stupid to be able to... Because it only ends up being like three episodes long in a series because I basically have diamonds right off the bat. So, but being able to like choose like I want it to spawn in in 50s like I want to be able to, to mine 50 blo 50 diamonds at the same at, at, in one place and and they go straight to my inventory and being able to mine like if I wanted to mine out all the stone that was here or as much as my food can let me and I go to my pick and hold down well in modded is the tilde key you can actually mine all of it here in vanilla by the way the tilde, tilde key is the one on the left side of your 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 number one button your one button on the keyboard so. So now, unfortunately, like they, 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 Minecraft does great work. I love their game. Don't get me wrong, but they uh, need to fix some aspects. So we have one, two, three, four. So we need to go. I think one more block up if we want. four uh, four pieces of stone out, or I mean four pieces of wood out of it but if we want but well, I think there might be, have to be a space above it which is the other stupid thing because if I go like this can I actually okay so I have to literally just do this. Because, like... I didn't actually know that s that trees could wrap around blocks in Minecraft. Like I knew that they could wrap around things in real life because uh, I do a lot of like um, landscaping for people on my off time sometimes, and basically. A design is having a having like um having trees wrap around things and. I mean, it's kind of useless in the, in some regard, but in other regards, it's like, that's pretty cool. Good thing I got some coal, but I wish it, there was some iron in here. How come I can only mine...
I'm going to have to cover that up. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm gonna have to f make it come down one, I think. No, I don't know. Yeah, it's supposed to be seven high, isn't it? Eh, never mind. I'm talking on my ass, don't. How come sometimes I can mine past that and sometimes I can't? I'm gonna have to fill that whole roof area in. Okay, mm-hmm. No, oh, dang it. So basically, on this level, it all needs to come down, okay. Uh, ow. I basically the height level of where you can mine is where you need to be at um, for this project unfortunately because or else like I say trees get way too like stupid to handle And I'm also debating if I should make it solid because you can go trees like right next to each other. And that would be kind of easy. And you get more wood out of it, but it also, you go through an axe like a banshee, but. Okay, so now we have to go up here and cover 
all this up at basically that level and I don't know if that's enough would be enough trees because I'm again not great at uh, Minecraft I was gonna, okay, maybe I should do it actually in stone. Uh, forgot F was that. Uh, this is you like like this this is a uh, temporary fix to basically this problem with the whole Oh fuck. You know, also with these noises, like, great, There, there's like horror noises, uh, it brings a little bit of variety to the game again. But actually make them something that happens, like maybe an underground train, uh, uh, something in interesting with these noises that you have as kind of like a horror thing and make it only in so that it only plays in the area that the item is in like if it, there's an underground train system that we have no idea is there technically like if a role playing we have no idea that there's a there's like a train system underneath the subway or whatever underneath and like being able to actually like move like have vehicles like that that you can actually move like if I'm thinking more if like someone wants to do a role playing server like like I might want to do one day do a role playing server because I'm trying to practice not breaking character all the time like being able to have trains and stuff without actually having to mod it because uh, like I love mods don't get me wrong like I love being able to mod the game modify the game 
to the point where yes it's interesting but that's all that this game has turned into I'm I like right now it's I'm trying my best without mods here because it's very hard for me to add mods to this world already unless I move the world over to a modded modded uh, mod pack and I don't want to have to copy and paste this whole world because it, it, it's going to kill my absolutely shoot my computer down to nothing and then adding the mods onto it like I wanted just a vanilla server or, or vanilla, vanilla pack but they're making it so hard now to play vanilla and it's like and but but now there's all these new like things that that people love in modded that they are not going to ever probably ever move over to vanilla so that it's vanilla so this series is great for now but it might end up dying because I'm gonna lose interest in just the vanilla kept mechanics um, unfortunately that's how like minecraft is going right now it's the it's the the beginning of the end technically so um, like This whole thing with the thing here. This is basically this is basically uh um uh, Wayla or J U I. So basically now it's basically you you like the the whole trick of vanilla is there is not much there. So you can remember a lot of the recipes. Now they, they, you basically cheat in survival, cheat just to. I mean, I I love it. I loved it when it was basically get in and survive. Um. But they're not adding things to the game that makes it that's simplistic but also like more content so I now I might end up just doing mod packs mostly now and I will be able to because mostly at least not like uh, not with like Windows 10 or Xbox but uh, and there's clear evidence uh, that this is like Java and and and, and which one's Java and which one's Xbox? First of all, right now in Xbox, you can't just say like low and then click on the. It doesn't actually show like the the commands for some reason. But you can just type in L, and it gives you a list that you can actually click on a list. Like, and it, for some of these things, I don't know what they even do because this is loot. Like for example, loot, uh, and then spawn. Like I, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me. So, but uh, I need a another stone pick because I'm not making iron for just stupidity like this. But they they also have like the two tall trees, like I was saying before, and nothing to mine those trees, so you have to dig up and and all that. And then they also have like useless um, useless items like zombie flesh. You can't do anything with. You can't even put them in the composters. So, meanwhile, I'm trying to keep something alive here that might not end up ever being alive ever again. 
because vanilla in Minecraft is like Mojang and Microsoft has have destroyed their own game. And I'm sorry to say, and I know you want you want to sponsor me for because I play a lot of Minecraft now, even though you kind of said no to me in the past when I actually called you Mojang. And then I get an email from Mojang saying, oh yeah, we want to sponsor you now because I'll still play your game, I still love your game, but I'll, like you're killing your own game basically. Like, the only good part about your game is being able to mod it with all the easy things that make life a little easier that eventually like I've seen people who survived and never in on islands and never want to leave because they basically have everything they want on island these islands and they end up just living there Be and because like they either want to live there or they were stuck there and they don't know anything else anymore but uh, like <sighs> and you can build so much with the materials on like take like m some of the modded series that I have made you plop me in the world a lot of it was sky block I'm, which is not really that realistic but still you, s you plop me in a survival world like th this where it's actually no void unless you go beyond ben bedrock which <coughs> why would you and then um you you can do so much with the materials in modded too like there's there's an old copper um I, uh, aluminum, tungsten, whatever the case may be, uh, cobalt, whatever it is, and then you take something like, uh, y you can make so many different items with it, you can make stronger tools with it, you can, there's more monsters, there's no more bosses, there's more everything in the game and I know you're 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 trying to update your game again uh for 16 and like th this was supposed to be the cave update right where uh, that guy uh, you s you seen me spectate those caves like there's no here if I quickly finish this uh, uh part uh because uh we're ha almost halfway through the episode here. I didn't see any... Uh, I might be blind as fuck, but I didn't see any... Uh, thing that they promised in ca the caves. I mean, uh, th th this part's already loaded, so that if I go probably farther out... I might do that. I haven't been out that way. So I'm going to go straight out that way in spectator mode and then go underneath the and look at the after I get these trees planted and maybe maybe they'll start growing in here. I don't know. For so this is our makeshift tree farm. For now, unless I, in, in, unless I actually just cancel the series altogether, which I don't want to. Like the, now, Minecraft is only good for like role playing. And if you actually want to do like the the bullshit work of of this, and I know this is like supposed to be like. A kid friendly game too where I shouldn't be actually swearing while I play this but
a lot of times adults also watch this series or these series so there's my makeshift tree farm I have to build bridges and stuff but quite frankly like like I say this tree this this area this is like super like there's nothing more to it you can't jet pack anywhere you can't just um, do anything really with this so I might not just I might not do a vanilla uh, server anymore uh, I might just stick with mods for now on that are that I can that I can actually upgrade to the most recent release so if I go back to spectator There's a ravine there. And fly way the the hell over here. Cuz I uploaded this in or I um download or, or open this world in the next gen. I call it Jen, so just calm down. Where is it? Where is the cave update where there was actual, like, biomes underground? And great, I found the the abandoned mine shaft. But again, where? Oh yay, a spawner, how nice. Like, am I totally blind here? Look, more mine shaft. I hit the jackpot in mine shafts, but again, on spawning new terrain, there should be the cave gen update happening here, and I don't see what they promised in the cave gen update. Where are the underground ground biomes?
Like, and I'm getting to the point where I don't know what to do anymore. I I was going to build, a, like, a spawn village and build all those, the, 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 the things that make life easier, but that just makes life harder to, to actually make those things. And then there's, and then there's spawner. Where are the world gen updates that they promise? Now we're under the sea or ocean. And this is all ocean. This is not like world gen uh, update that they were promising. Ocean. Okay, if I just take the L here, uh, slash kill, see the only good thing is you can type in cheats easier, and that just killed everything in a certain area for me, but let's say if I wanted to go into a brand new world, with cheats, I don't care about bonus chests, super flat, large biome, and look at it. The only the only thing that's great here is buff it, and then do you see? There's only mod. They added all these modified things now, but do you see? the void, the end, which ha how would you actually respond, uh, be able to survive in the end? So let's say I want, what's a good biome for the, for world generator cave? I like jungle. Let's go just jungle. Here we go. Cheats on. There we go. There we go. There we go. I don't care about bonus chests. I'm just proving a point here. Nice uploads or nice download speed, eh? Install speed, whatever. So literally, we had to literally actually give it or force it in as a cave and or having this inside a cave. And there's not even any trees around. It's just jungle grass, a little bit of um bamboo kicking around lava the whole nine yards here and then how can you act and, and you, it still goes down here oh look a mine shaft Diamonds, but under the lava.
like leave in the comments what I should do with that other world if I should like put actually get mods put into it and actually because then I would have to actually call my friend over to help me with that And for the the ser there's the there's bamboo there. For the server, the role playing server, should it be modded or should it? Be, be uh. Vanilla because I don't think people people are coming back to the game, but they're coming back to the more modded stuff. It's not like we can actually do very much in vanilla. Like, if people kept making modded stuff, people would actually play their mod packs. But because they don't actually make mod packs, generating what's new in the actual game with it, and it, people just let their mod, mod packs die, like in uh, in in 1.12. They still keep them in 1.12 even after all these updates. But li literally, vanilla is a dead a dead a dead game in a sense. If you in mod is the, where it's at. But like I say, I would love to do like a role playing server for my fans only. Uh, which, if you want to see that, please donate to the the uh, um, Patreon down below. Just donate to me, and yeah, in the description. Uh, because all that, uh, if we beat our goal, I could actually do th more things, uh, and then the goal there is a hundred thousand, then we can actually have a studio place where most of the group will be, because most of the group right now is in, in my area, where I, or in Winnipeg, where I, uh, close to where I live, um, but literally, like, where is that? And I, like, the, I'm in, uh, in the latest, too. Like, the, I should, I should be able, I should be getting the, the, the cave gen re update. But I literally have to, like, cheat in, basically, that's what Buffett is, is basically cheating in a survival aspect, which is great, but... Can can I get the the thing back from 1.12 where you can actually choose how many, where the ores spawn and 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 how many they actually spawn? Please. Uh. But yeah, this is just to prove the point. I'm done with that that series now. Uh, that that or this series basically where. I tried to survive in vanilla because vanilla is bullshit. So uh, if you guys can keep making mods and and actually update your your mods that the mod packs that you actually made in the past so that they can eventually be in in the next gen every single time and just update them to the next gen every single time and your mods too so that the mod pack authors can actually put it into the next gen um, their mod and packs then uh, at least vanilla is like a good good base base game for mods basically I mean minecraft or mojang and, and xbox will never make it actually easy to add uh, mods but 
with the with, with like the curse launcher, the the twitch launcher, all those things that are now buying each other out. Life can be a whole lot, heck of a lot easier. And instead of actually trying to manipulate the files, is that the right way to say that? To support mods, because I've done, I've tried that. I have a world where I, or, or a, a generation um, where uh, in the launcher where I, I have those in there. Uh, those certain kind, those um, packs and stuff, or those um, couple mods that my friend asked me to put in when we played together. Uh, but literally, this is this this game's dead. I and that and people like me are are trying to play it. Uh just because people want to see more of it and then like to the point where it's like why why am I playing a basically a dead game if no one's actually making mods for it then and, and then I don't want to play minecraft like I'll play mod packs in minecraft like I'll play the mod packs for minecraft but I I'm starting to not want to play the vanilla base base the bit basically the base game where so but anyways I'm gonna end this episode here because nothing to do like I built the tree farm great we have wood great I can make the the the, the uh, the the village the spawn village but there's no there's no diversity there's no difference to the game at all in any stage of vanilla mod packs bring something different to the table different situations I played one that I uh, had to uh, um, survive in the nether that was pretty interesting C and there's no trees in the nether in unless you bring in mods there's no nothing unless you bring in mods it's just this bullshit over and over again that's probably why also minecraft channels are dying because they play the same base game. I mean, they bring in adventure packs and now and stuff that they end up playing. But I'm not going to touch this game, this base game, probably with a f ten foot pole. I'll still do like the redstone building uh, world on Xbox. But even that, I think, will end up dying because this is fucking stupid. Again, unless you bring in behavior packs. Which I think Austin now wants to do in that world. And I am now agreeing with him that we have to bring in some, some cheats and mods into this. Into the 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 world of Minecraft because this is this is stupid and this is honestly your game is dead. Fix it or lose it. Mojang, Xbox, you want honest feedback from your game all the time. That's basically the 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 long and the short of it. Like, Mojang, look, like, if I go back to this screen, you can't even, you can't even buy things from the store, that's what's making Xbox such 
such a big th Xbox Minecraft bigger than than Mojang. And yes, you just updated so, so that people are playing you again, just for uh, about two or three weeks. Two or three weeks, and then your 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 game will be dead again because first of all all you brought in was the fucking bees and apparently a cave update that I haven't seen anything in the, the actual game that supports that you actually put it in just I see youtubers playing with the update and showing it off but I haven't and I, anything that you put out that you say you're gonna update uh, the world gen of the nether or the any place basically did you say that you're gonna update uh, where is it I see it other youtubers play it apparently it's out some these things are out uh, but uh, but then again where are they like am I getting like am I getting crappy worlds or crappy um, rendering when I fly out there because I flew out there in 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 that world even though that world was technically not supposed to be cheated that's literally where it's at either cheat or or be like survive stupidly over and over again and that's the funny thing I keep like starting new series is on Minecraft and it's basically the same thing at the start and then you lose interest in the game altogether I mean we're basically to the point where we can speed run the whole game in two hours when this first came out it was like weeks and months and years now to, to actually play the whole game now it's just two hours even less now because a lot of a lot of things got nerfed, a lot of mo mobs got nerfed. Now you can basically defeat the Ender Dragon in two hours or less. Just even with just iron, you can actually uh, and partial diamond like tools. You basically have your game your game set. Basically, you just f throw in the towel there because there's no big bosses. Unless you go to uh, Project E, um, Minecraft Project E, or uh, n then you get other m uh, mobs and other things. But then again, still not enough content for anything. I mean, people like I see people making YouTube videos on maps all the time. But they have to actually install the maps and throw them in the file and hope that they work. They don't always nothing. A lot of things don't actually work. You you brought in VR, great. That's just that's just me throwing my controllers around when I get a new VR. Uh, but the games. The game is dead. Like, this is the last episode of this vanilla series that's solo. And your game is all, all, all only more fun with other people, but with the system you have, you either have to build a server. That means no one can do it, and the, the other person uh, either has to have a n separate computer to run the server on, or actually not be able to, like, do very much, uh, like, streaming or recording or, or do other things on their computer, except either, uh, e e any, uh, for the worst off computers. They, they, it's very hard to play because it gets laggy, it gets, the internet gets bad, but with Xbox, you actually are able to connect even cross-platform. I know you put it in the cross-platform server, 
but the server still needs to be put up on the computer to run like <coughs> like the whole files and, and the server files need to be up on the screen <coughs> in order to run and with Xbox you can lo literally load in with Windows 10 version or the actual um, Xbox version by going onto Xbox like some of our our group does and just play on with controller and Xbox um, where I, I, even though you tech, Java kind of gets updated first J the Java version isn't worth it because uh, basically you can go right into it afterwards the only good thing is you can type in cheats easier because all you have to do is type the first letter click it and instead of having t to type out the whole thing I mean with my dyslexia it's fucking bullshit So Mojang, if you actually make it a better game where it has more, you either introduce mods as the vanilla play, where you like take take like a huge mod pack and just add it in, your game's dead. Your your if you actually made your game all the mods basically and every time a new thing comes out add that in and give the give the the mod producers and the mod pack makers that you actually use the credit and the the royalties you have a you have a your game back but this is dead vanilla vanilla minecraft is dead no matter how often people play it to try to revive it, it's dead. And we're playing it just to j and 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 know that it's dead. Your 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 game is basically your your game is based on fantasy violence and it is nine and up which co coincidence coincidentally your game is out in 2009 so uh, we're like your 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 younger audience that are just turning the age unless they already get to play uh, that's that it's fun for them but you lose everything when you make it not adult friendly too like keep the base game I'm not saying throw out the base game keep updating the the the, the um the land, the, the landscape, and the, everything like the, the, the nether and the end and whatever else you want to update, and but add more content. Either add more dimensions, add more ores, add more things to build. Basically, make it like, like if I uh, download mods, and I can change things. I can make better crafting systems. I can. I can build a smeltery in Tinker's Construct, but whoever made, like, for example, Tinker's Construct, give them credit. Whoever you add into your ba base game, give them credit and give them royalties from the sales. I know that will put, you're, you're already raising the game up to obscene prices. And I was lucky to get it for only like 25 bucks. But it goes up and down, up and down because you keep dying and coming back. If you keep putting out massive 
updates with lots of content and lots of different things you can do. Like, like, like I say, the two tall, like the trees that are like way too tall to even mine, and and like that's one of the things that is killing your 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 thing. You keep adding things like to this to the tree here. You added a honey hive or whatever nest. Uh, great. You're adding more more bugs and well apparently bugs. I haven't seen the bugs yet. I only see the fucking bees and half of your 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 ta like construction tables uh, don't work. The ones that, that the, like there's a smelt smithing table, the fletching table. They, what, what they they they're only are they only for villagers to use? Because why even put that in the game? We could do, uh, we uh, we could e easily have just done it through the the crafting table, but it's boring having everything through the crafting table. I can see why you're adding a little bit more uh, and through one furnace, but why can't we like make it diamond furnaces or have more ores? and stuff to make new things that make life better like a mod does like uh, and having uh, uh, making it easy to easier to add mods and texture packs like I have two texture packs the programmer art so the classic look and then the default look and these games come with the actual game or these texture packs come with the actual game because you can go back to the old bullshit or you can go to the n like new bullshit textures which the the quite frankly they're like I have my favorite texture pack and and um, it's not. You, I don't even play it in Java because you can't even add it into Java easily. Um, just basically, you can add it to the files, and uh, and then have to make sure it works. And it doesn't always work. And in fact, it almost never works. But anyway, I mean, I. I'm basically I've been ranting for an hour and 20 minutes so thank you guys so much for watching this video this this series is dead this the, this game is dead the only thing is mod so keep modding keep making textures making packs making just you this is basically building a building block game where you can add things to make the game better. That's basically all this game is now. Stop doing vanilla because it's bullshit and they'll never ever put it so that it's a better game. I mean they they, they don't jump like the the like the whole meme about Minecraft 2.0. Uh, th like they're 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 stupid April Fools joke, and they they got everybody hyped because because their fucking game is dead, and then they, and then they they go about oh wait it's an April Fools joke. I'm like fuck you. So uh, if basically if you want fans come back make that April's Fool's joke of a real thing take your game add whatever bullshit you were you you were talking about in and then say 2.0 your game is fucking dead unless you do something about it you you do little things that make it them play for maybe a week or a day oh look this this new thing let's see how it works then, then it drops off again. My, like my friend is one of my friends is never gonna buy the game ever. At this rate, never. 
I wouldn't I wouldn't even I'm not even gonna force him to buy it like Xbox at least you can buy things on the store on the X on the, the Minecraft store like if I or Windows 10 even if I I'm gonna keep ranting about this and you can see it now if I go to quit this Java bullshit if I go to and it, this is a money maker this this actually makes money because Xbox has it right here in Windows 10 because basically it's all Windows anyway but if I go into uh, the the title screen of Windows 10 which is the only one I'm gonna play now because I it, uh, all I need to do is play a, a little bit of money and you can actually make money or uh, in-game money by having cheats on which we are off and actually doing the achievements which we don't do even though I want to get get stuff to do these things but it's easy it, it's too bad you can have achievements and have cheats so go here now there's a texture pack on here uh, why aren't you going to live stream okay so basically they have a marketplace and then you can make points by the these or make mon Minecraft coins by actually having the textures on or the, the, the or having the achievements on and the cheats off and I can get things like this game or this game and or this th things that basically change the game I mean some of it's just in mini games um, and just put plop you in the map which is basically where everything's going to <coughs> but literally like you like here you can add jetpacks without having to install mods and you can I don't think you can actually install mods onto Windows 10 anyway you just have to get them in the store here like mashup packs adds new new and adds new like lions tigers and bears oh my if I go to my packs Here, min in my zoo, there it actually adds elephants, tigers, pandas. Like these are some of these are mashup packs, some of these are texture packs, some of these are just worlds that you can download, and or even surviving in space, make it so that you can survive in in other dimensions. Um, like uh, I have a, the Scott, a, a couple sky blocks here. I have couple skin packs and I can't even you can't even technically add skin packs to the damn game e the Java version either like Xbox has it right and that's why we're all we're probably always going to stick to Xbox and it's easier to play because all you need is a Microsoft account because if if I actually go to play all you have to do is have friends on Microsoft or the Xbox version it's the same account basically and then you can you can actually play or you can join realisms that stay up all the time or friends worlds that actually you play together on all the time or just someone run uh, has it running in the background while the other person plays 
halfway across the world or this one's always on and yes it is ten dollars a month for this one too just like on Java with realism so actually it's twenty why you're basically that's basically almost what I paid for the game just to run a fucking realism server But I think I will actually add a actual external server here. One day that's basically role playing and it will have Basically, you either have to be a fan or... Yeah. And then I'll, I'll make another server on Discord and... For just the... The, like, the server, the, the Minecraft role-playing server. And I'll get... I'll get it all set up where it'll give me you notifications on Discord about the actual in-game play, like what's going on, any updates to your character, like I don't know if you robbed something or stole something and then the police are, are looking for you or whatever the case may be uh, and then and then have like a bunch of different different um, businesses and all that 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 and then just role play like that seems fun to me like the camera will we'll record it but the cameras will be off the webcams will be off and it will just be us role playing in the game um yeah but that's neither here nor there. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I know I, I went longer. And I already did the outro. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.